What's up, guys? I'm here bringing us a brand episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now, today, we're taking another downgrade in the quality of the film or the video. Uh, last episode, we didn't have a green screen. This episode, don't have a Canon G7X because the battery is drained and the other battery is dead, so the battery is charging, and I really wouldn't want to go ahead and record this episode to recording off my iPhone, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's all good, because you know why? You still got high qual. The phone is higher quality than the quality from last semester and we got this beautiful sure us some 7b microphone so we're chilling with audio individual looks just fine and you got the nice little thing out here saying where i'm at liberty university for one more week so let's get it let's talk about our draft last night first round we did not watch the draft in my dorm we watched the pat mcafee draft spectacular it's a much better way to watch the draft it's much less boring so much more entertaining. I highly suggest you watch it if you um, really want to watch the draft and be entertained the whole time. You'll be much more entertained if you watch the draft spectacular. Pat McAfee was five hours and it was absolutely hilarious with Mad Mel Kuyper, Jason Glazer. I mean, it was fantastic. And uh, Pat McAfee and AJ Hawk, you know, absolutely hilarious. But that's not why he came here. He, came here to get my reaction about our selection so last night in the first round we selected out of the University of Kentucky at pick 19 Jamin Davis linebacker now some people were thinking we could have taken Christian Darisol we did not some people were thinking we would take Owusu I'm not gonna try to say his whole name but Owusu you know if you know you know and um yeah I was kind of shocked that we went with Jamin Davis but you know Really looking into his background and his highlights over the past day. Um, I understand it a lot, and I'm super excited. Our defense is stacked. He comes from a military background, which you know is what Rivera loves to look for. Somebody who has a good background, who was brought up well, and who has a good head on his shoulders, and Jamin Davis obviously does. Um, there were some questions with some of the other linebackers around there. And with Jamin Davis, you know what you're getting. And Ron said he was a top defensive guy they had in the whole draft listed. And, uh, yeah, um, I do want to say, and the la I said in the last video, I can't remember if I mentioned John Davis, but I know I mentioned Michael Parsons, maybe. I think I had him going before we even had a chance. But uh, Dallas got him. And I, at first I was like, you got to be kidding me. Really, Dallas got him? But after such has come about, about uh, come out about uh, Michael Davis, attaboy, Dallas. You're doing good. Doing great. I hope you all enjoy him. I hope your whole locker room enjoys him. I know he will enjoy the whole locker room. If you know, you know. So, but John Davis, man, whew, this guy can cover. This guy can rush the QB. This guy can run stop. This guy is what we needed. I said in Wednesday's video, we needed somebody who could cover the run and stop and get through the quarterback and also stop the pass and coverage because that's a problem we've had with our linebackers because John Bostic he bless his soul, can't do it. He's good, but he's not that good. And we do have Cole Holcomb who's good, but one man, and you need more people. Now, a lot of fans are like, this kind of blows the chances of Reuben Foster coming back. I know I was excited to see Reuben Foster too. But, you know, things happen. I wish the best for him going forward. Maybe he does end up back with the team around training camp for an opportunity. You know, who knows? I doubt it, but you never know. But um, I'm really, I love this pick. I love this pick. I really do. I'm, at first, I was like, okay, cool, when I saw it. And then I went and did some more investigating, and I'm like, holy, we just got a good pick who could ten potentially be the steal of the draft. The draft last night um, was kind of shocking in some ways. I kind of heard a couple things earlier yesterday, so what was a shock to some people, I was kind of like, I knew that. I knew that. I felt proud. I knew that. Um, but... Uh, to get really into his intangibles. He has a great 40 time, obviously. He's just a very physical linebacker. Can play all over the field. If you watch his highlight reels, he can get across the field in no time. He can he reads where the ball is going. And once he sees where the ball is going, he drifts to it very quickly. And that's one thing we really struggled with. Because I said in a video Wednesday, we struggled against Seattle and San Francisco and Arizona. Even though we beat San Francisco, you can't deny the fact that we struggled against them against the run and that they ran all over us. So having a linebacker that can really just step in there and stop the run and help Cole Holcomb and help this whole massive defense that is what we have 
is astounding. Because let's just, as a whole um, Washington tweet, but you know what? Uh, in my video, let's roll through the defense. Montez Sweat, Chase Young, Matt Ioannidis, John Allen, Tim Settle, Deron Payne, Cole Holcomb, Jamin Davis, Kendall Fuller, William Jackson, Landon Collins, Cameron Curl, Jeremy Reeves, who stepped up, Shays Averett. We got so many guys. Jimmy Moreland. The other cornerback that I can't that we signed, but I can't think of his name. Sorry, I can't think of his name. John Bostic. And there's so many more. This is how this is how stacked our defense is. I know there's more, and I just can't think of who they are. Whew. How amazing is our defense going to be? Let's just hope our Fitz Magic and the boys on the offense can really step up and make this team electric. You know. But Jim Jamon Jamon Davis. I feel like I haven't talked a whole lot about him. It's been rambling on about other stuff. But this guy's physical. He's going to be a really big addition to the defense. He's going to be flying over the field. Uh, potentially just outstanding. The guy's built crazily. I, I was, like, astonished at how he how he is just built physically. Um, I'm excited to see him in action. If you're a Washington fan, I know some of you are kind of like, what? I want a JOK. But you know what? In Ron, we trust. So I say just, I know some things might be questioned, but go with it. We needed a guy to fill a specific position. This is not just, not, it's not a linebacker can just be a linebacker. It's what type of linebacker you're looking for. And the linebacker we needed is one of Jamin Davis's skill set. And we got him. And whew, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for tonight. I'm hyped for tomorrow. So now that we talk about Jamin Davis, and it's just great physical ability just absolutely monster on the field. Get, expect some picks. I, I would expect him getting some interceptions this season. He is really good at playing that in coverage in mid-range. So I have to say be very um, aware that that could happen, which is exciting. Now, let's talk about what we expect for tonight and tomorrow. So tonight is round 2 and 3, and tomorrow is round 4, 5, 6, 7. I do not expect us to go after QB tonight. I expect us to go after our line and defensive back. Oh, yeah. A line or defensive back, maybe a running back. If there's someone that's that good there, maybe. Um, maybe a tight end. If there's like a really big physical tight end, I would say tight end, O-line, or defensive back would be the most likely you would see tonight. And tomorrow, I would say let's think about uh, safeties, cornerbacks, uh, possibly another linebacker, O line, maybe a receiver, uh, some tight end. Essentially, I said what's going to happen tonight, also tomorrow, and also a quarterback. I say we get a quarterback later in the round. To see, if, see, I think they would like to get a guy and see if they can develop him, see what his skill level is. Because we do have a stacked room right now with Fitzpatrick, Kyle Allen, and Heineke. And so we're pretty much good there. But I think they're going to want to bring in like maybe one more young body just to kind of get somebody in there to learn and build over the years. Because none of these guys are super young. So we want to uh, make sure that we get somebody that's young in there and maybe is a steal of the draft and has an elite skill level that we can take advantage of. So that's how I, I expect tonight and tomorrow to go. But really, this time I have video, uh, Jamin Davis. I'm so excited. Welcome him to the DMV. Welcome Jamin Davis. If by chance in somewhere in a crazy world you see this, welcome to the DMV. Um, I'm so excited to have you here. Uh, love the video with you and your family. Uh, with you getting to pick, very heartwarming, very touching to get my Friday started. So that was fun. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. I'm with Morris. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe and head already. Make sure to like the bell button so you're notified every single time a brand new episode of Washington Station to the channel. And I'm with Morris, and I'm out. Peace.